Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, it's windy, it's rainy, it's stormy. We're under tropical storm warning. The entire keys is it's coming. It's early June, you guys. Blowing 25 to 35 knots right now. It's supposed to blow 40 to 45 knots later tonight. All the boats are tied up really good, you guys. We're gonna take you back to this morning. We're tying them up and uh, just kind of show you around and show you the next 36 hours. Getting the boats all tied up. We uh, switched Sarah's X3 around yesterday. Got the bow facing out so the wind hits it from the bow to the stern. Put some extra lines on it. Sadie says her uh, jacket keeps blowing up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yay! Good job. And yesterday, I mean, you can see that flag's blowing about 25 to 30 knots already. It's supposed to be 35 to 40 knots tonight. Um, we're just gonna. Make sure everything's secured down here. Matt's got extra springs lines on his boat. And they did a lot of that work yesterday, but he came back down here because you always got to check it. You know, because a lot of rain coming and um, a lot of wind coming. You know, 40 knots, and it could gust up to 50 knots. We don't know exactly what, but we got extra springs on here. So we got two springs on each side. Got all this. He's tied up there dealing with BM. That's our old boat. He's got extra bow lines on, extra springs on. A couple boats left provider they headed out to the boat yard for me the most you know danger that could happen here if it blows 40 to 50 knots out of the south which is supposed to come we don't want the bow of the freeman hitting the dock up here and it's high tide now you know we got a little room to spare there but that's where you could get in trouble so we're gonna pull uh tighten up on these spring lines get the bow away an extra foot we'll adjust the stern lines We'll see what happens. There's gonna be a lot of rain, so Dylan was changing a bilge pump yesterday on the BM, just a new float switch, anyhow, making sure that all works 100%. And I know all my stuff's good on here, so we'll see. Sadie, is it windy? Oh, yeah, it's getting windy. All right, so we definitely want to tighten these up because we want to get this boat at least six more inches away from the dock there. We don't want to hit them, so tighten these up. Always good to have extra lines on it. Got an extra loop on that one too, and let's do this other side next. What you doing? You playing? Yeah. Ah! There. Put some slack in these, and we're gonna pull it back here now, just to get a little bit further away, so we get one more wrap on the cleat here. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh well. This is hard to do by yourself. Sadie, how you doing? Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Here is the roughest, toughest. Yeah, I'm pick up now. Getting ready for the storm, Mike. Yeah, I'm on. I just spent a week, I know. Don't blow away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hold down, I hold down firm, you know. I hold down the fort. Yeah. I might cook up some ox steel stew, some some stew peas. I put it over rice and thing, you know. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Cause this, yeah, in Jamaica we just like this we stay home and we just cook and eat, you know. Perfect. Stew peas is a good thing for this kind of weather. So, as I, you know, Stira like ox steel. She tell me she like she had it before and thing. Nikki, am I try the ox steel? It's been a long time. Oh man, I'm gonna make some stew peas. I'm gonna try and make some stew peas. Let's see what happens, you know? All right, let's but, do it. Yeah, man, we could do it. All right, yeah, over here. All right, we got some more space now. Should be good to go. This bucket definitely won't stay there, so. Let's put this right there. We got extra, extra stern line on here to keep the deck boat away from uh, the dock up there. Hopefully this boat makes it. It's a whale. They're supposed to be unsinkable. We'll find out. But let's go check out Sarah's boat. It's getting windy now, you guys. Lots of white caps there. You can see them blowing. The white caps are coming. Which is good so far. So we got two forward springs on it. You know, one here, one up there. We got these back lines. That's going to keep the boat from sliding around. One on each side there coming each way. We got two bow lines on it, and we just really wanted to put the uh, bow into the wind and the waves, because that's the way the boat's supposed to ride. We didn't want the transom in there because the waves would be breaking over the transom, and we knew that. So, 
we'll see what happens uh, in a few hours. You know, this afternoon, this evening, it's really just to start picking up, but lots of rain and all that. But as of now, the X3 is looking good. This boat's looking good. Our boat's looking good. And most other boats in the marina are all looking good there. So let's see, uh, let's see how this storm treats us. Fingers crossed for everybody in its way. Lots of rain and some wind. And um, I hope everybody stays safe in it. And, you know, it's a tropical storm, it's not a hurricane yet. You know, hopefully it doesn't become a hurricane. Come on, Sadie Bug. Sadie, what's your favorite thing about the marina? It is my team. <laughs> Ice cream. Yeah. Push pop. You haven't eaten them all yet. There's still a few left. Well, looks like Blue Gabe and Kelly were here. Gabe and Kelly stopped by from the way home from Key West yesterday. Made a nice mutton snapper meal for dinner. And uh, Kelly showed us a picture when she was a little kid here stopping by the Great White Shark out front. Kind of a picture uh, a picture booth of sorts. So that was kind of cool to see. And hopefully we'll do a video with them this summer. You know, maybe a couple videos, lobster and fishing, spear fishing, all that. Extra lines on there, crossed up. Extra springs right here. And all these boats are doing the same thing there. They're just doubling up on their lines for safety. Old Cloud Nine here. Let's see what happens. What's your name? Sadie. Sadie, yeah. You tell me Sarah. And we got something really cool to show you guys. Um, it's storm season. We're happy to have this new product from Anchor. And um, we're gonna tell you all about that right now. We're in a tropical storm morning right now. And this is the new Anchor 757 powerhouse. We don't know if the power's gonna go out, but it's stormy outside, it's rainy, it's windy. And we're not sure what's gonna happen in the next couple of days. The Anchor 757 powerhouse is a new power station. It has outstanding durability with long lasting power. It's powered with premium LFP batteries, built with industry grade material. It has hyper flash fast recharge technology, 1500 watt output power, and 1229 watts per hour capacity. It also has built in maximum power point tracking for faster and more efficient solar recharging. This power station is perfect for days like this when you got tropical storms around, but also for going camping, RVing, off the grid living, or any outdoor activity. The Anchor 757 has the most advanced long-lasting batteries. They'll remain in a healthy state even after 3,000 complete charge cycles with six times longer battery lifespan than the industry average. This is really important for us to have long-lasting power that we can recharge our batteries or even use small appliances on. Small home appliances that can be charged include portable fridges, fans, coffee makers, microwaves, and more. If you want a smaller model, check out the Anchor 521 and 535 powerhouse with the same long-lasting batteries but smaller capacities. It's hurricane season here in South Florida. Having this 757 is gonna make our life a lot easier, a lot safer, and uh, get rid of a lot of headaches. Power goes out, we know we got power, and uh, we can cook, we got light, we got a way to charge our phones, so we'll be good to go. If you wanna get an Anchor 757, click the link in our video description, or search the Anchor Powerhouse online. It's our Saturday morning check. It's windy, 30 knots. Um, all the boats look good though from what I see so far. We were worried that, you know, maybe they'd hit the seawall last night, but uh, everything's looking good so far. Everything's safe on here. It is pretty windy and gray. And it looks like the storm is gonna pass closer to like the west coast of Florida, like Fort Myers and Naples area. So we're gonna get the outside edge of it. But uh, you know, hopefully we don't see 40 or 50 knots here. You know, hopefully it just stays 25, 35. Let's go check out the X3 to make sure uh, Sassy Sarah's boat's still good, but a quiet day here on a normally busy weekend in Amarada. But can't control the weather. You're making a cameo. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Orlando. Orlando? Okay, a few hours away. Hiding yeah. from the storm? Trying to. Trying to, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. A couple of days on the boat tomorrow. Yeah, so. tomorrow looks a little better. The next day yeah. looks a lot better. So. Yeah, we're hoping. We met some fans here. They're hiding from the weather. I don't blame them. It's windy and rainy out there. The flag's still ripping. Yep. And there it goes. Whew. Better hold on to your hat today and blow it off. You know, they're still calling for 40 knot gusts. I just hopefully don't see 50 knots. It's our noon update. The whaler's got water in it. Hopefully she don't go down. Everything looks good, you guys. That's uh that's good news. Let's see what happens the next uh, the next 12 hours. <laughs> Thank goodness we ain't going fishing today. 
Uh, and we're gonna have some lot of rain coming through and big, uh, big squall lines. It's low tide now. When high tide comes, all these boats, you know, they're gonna move and change positions a lot because that water be up an extra two feet. And here comes the rain. It's starting to rain. Time to get going back inside. The storm is passing over. It's getting yeah. nicer out. Still ain't nice, but it's getting better. Mike's here. He's got a yeah. special dish coming up. Sarah requested it, but he's told us about it for years. Mike, what are you doing? Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm going to dig up, you know? So, it's oxtail. I'm going to make some oxtail today. So, it's, it's like an oxtail stew, you know? But in Jamaica, they call it stew peas because I'm going to use the red kidney peas on there. And, like, I'm going to cook everything together. It's a real Jamaican dish, too, because it's the oxtail. It's a thing with oxtail. Oxtail can be made in any way. You cook oxtail with rice and peas. You oxtail with the stew peas. Oxtail soup. Yeah, so the oxtail right here. And I even see people curry it before. So see the oxtail right here. I'm already, I already seasoned it up and cut it up already. Which is a secret, and we're not telling you how to do that. Yeah, we couldn't like give away the season, you know? So, so anyway, the, and I cut them looking smaller too. Because the oxtail, you know how they join like that? It's a round piece, you know? Oh, it smells so yeah. good. Yeah, I cut off some of the fats and stuff off it. And, and, you know, leave a little bit for flavor. With the meat, this oxtail is very delicious. Not gonna lie, you. It's one of my top five things to cook. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm on straight. So the easy part is this now. So I got the red kidney peas. I like using the dry peas. So everything gonna cook with the oxtail, you know? So see that right there? So I'm gonna think like, is this two peas I'm making? So perfect. So I'm gonna go with the whole thing. I'm gonna use it all. Yeah, cause that will work. You know, I'll wash it off a little bit. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I got my broken strain on my brain. Because guess what? I'm going to put some coconut milk in it too. I'm going to get a real coconut. Coconut milk is going to go in it. Sweet potato is going to go in it. It's going to be good. So see, I got the water in there. Which one? This one right here? Uh, one, two, three. That one. This one right here? No, this one. This one, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. See, you yes, know my so. stuff better than me. Yeah, man, I get to know it more now, <laughs> you know? The more I cook on here, the more I know it, you know? <laughs> put a little bit of that in there. Not too much, you know? That's good because I still have some nice season on it. I just season it up real nice. So what I'm gonna do really, but see right now, I could put the oxtail in it right now, but I'm gonna let it start to get hot a little bit, it boil up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the oxtail in it. So you see me? Okay. Yeah, man, the roughest stuff is Jamaican, Mike. I can't you know? wait for this, I'm so excited. Okay, Mike said we could give up a little bit of his secret, but I don't think you're gonna find this here in America, because he said he brought it from Jamaica. Yeah, There's this actual one. actual oxtail seasoning, a taste of Jamaica, it says on the bottle, so. Not found in America, right? No, yeah. this one, this one come up special, you know? But yeah, I got it from Jamaica, straight one of my friends, I got it from them, you know? And this one of the thing, this is a real oxtail season right here, and some of it is on this. Good. I put some of it to marinate the oxtail, so yeah, I went real good, real, I want it to be real proper, you know? So this is one of the ingredients I used to, one of the spices, it's the allspice. But in Jamaica, we call it, um, we call it pimento. Pimento in Jamaica, you know the spice, right, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll put a few seeds of this in there. Not too much, you know? It's really smelly good and everything. And so if anybody who know about all whole spice, would know say it's a good spice. Come back to the marina and, and grab a bag of, you know, so I got a couple stuff in here, which is like, so this one is like, so that's a, I'm gonna use some real coconut. I'm gonna put coconut milk in it too. So this is a coconut from Buddha Mary. After tree, they cut in the coconuts, I make one dry out. And this is, I just open it and cut some of that coconut. And then, so, and then this one, I got some stuff wrapped up here too. But well, check it out. You know, just, you know, the, you know, it's not what you guys think. You know, Jamaicans always have stuff wrapped up in plastic, but it's not what, what you is guys that? think. So, <laughs> Show us what it is. So it's a, it's a, it's a Scotch bonnet pepper. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Scotch bonnet pepper. So I, pepper. I dried it out. If we, I'll get a little. If you have a little dish, I'm gonna put it in when yeah. you're ready, Sierra. So that too, I dried it out. So I, cause it's from, it's from here. I planted here. Nice. The Scotch bonnet pepper tree, and then I'm gonna put it on the side if people wanna add pepper to theirs. Because the pepper, that's a real nice flavor. It's have a nice aroma and spicy, yeah. So I brought some of the local Scotch bonnet pepper too. And it's a local coconut right here, which I'm going to cut up for real. And just, you know, normally, yeah. 
Let's kind of put them up a little bit, you know? All ready? Let's press. All you, you got to You press it and then you spin Turn. it. Yeah, so press down and spin it. Yeah, I had to wrestle this ox down, you know, to get the tail. So, but, <laughs> so much respect to the ox, you know. And, you know, so here it is. Sarah gonna get her ox tail still. Much respect and much respect to the ox. Yeah, man, big up. All right, Sarah, there you go for you, for real. Yeah, this man. This looks amazing. Nice. Ever since I met Mike and he's and I found out he was from Jamaica, I was asking him, when can we make ox tail? <laughs> because it's a Jamaican delicacy. So finally, it's been a while, but. We had to wait for like a rainy hurricane weekend. We figured it'd be like a good comfort food to make during the storm. So I think we timed it right. Yeah, and it's real proper, you know? Yeah, real proper. The Let me best. see how Sierra like it. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. So good. You can taste the coconut in it and all the spices. It's amazing, I love it. Good job, Mike. Yeah, man. Good job, Thank Mike. You guys, much respect, you know. Enjoy. The roughest, toughest. Big up, big up, you know. Much See respect in. to the ox. Yeah, <laughs> man. Much respect to the ox, you know. For letting us have his tail. Mm. 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 Fish break the line. Mm. This must be a strong, big fish. Probably a big one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oxtail, it's courtesy of Jamaican Mike. It's hot, it's going down. Frank the tank. Got good herbs to it, nice spices. Nice and warm, soft. It's like beef. Very good. How do you like it, Charlie? This is one of the best ox, stewed oxtail I've ever had, I gotta say. And, and I know you Absolutely. don't lie. I'm not playing with you. This is one of the best. And yeah. we took it up a notch because we got some dried scotch bonnet pepper here, right. which is extra hot and yeah. just gives it that, that little bit of love. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, man, for Respect. real. Respect. There's a little Always, bit of yo. love right there. And, and honestly, I like criticism. If it's, not, if it's not good, tell me because over my years of cooking, criticism made me better. It's, it's, a lot of chefs don't like that, but you have to take criticism because once you listen to the people or your customers, they'll tell you. And you, if you can change stuff up, make it better, it's good. Say that again to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, sometimes I take criticism. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know you can. If you don't like what the cook's cooking, you can get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you can, Dude. you got what you went in for the peppers? Did you my God, that's break my meal though. Bro. Oh, we didn't put too much. How was the pepper? Scoop off a little if you have to. If you can handle it, go in it. You have money hot. I'm tasting oh it right now. <laughs> How's that scotch bonnet? And I'll tell you what, kudos for that pepper that you dried out because... Oh. <laughs> That's the original scotch bonnet, you know? Yeah, I'm one of the roughest stuff. I'm going to have to eat some ice cream after this. You know what I'm <laughs> you saying? Know? Yeah, Let's yeah. try it out. Yeah, it came on good. We eat so good here, all the time, man. We're spoiled. We are. By Jamaican mm. Mike, especially. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I'm man. Good job, bro. Respect. Appreciate it. Much respect. Oh, my pleasure. Scotch bonnet. Oh, my yeah. oh, <laughs> 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 
We ate a lot of oxtail, you guys. I know that video was all over. We got ready for the storm. We went through the storm. I know some people's boats didn't do as well, but uh, we gotta wrap this video up. If you guys want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. Got all our new gear on there, shirts, hats, fishing rods, and some more stuff. The fish tank's getting closer. Sarah and Dana put some more rocks in there uh, the other day, and we're gonna start getting some little critters for it. But this video is uh, ending right now, so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We're on a tropical storm morning. It's early July. Low 25 to 35 knots it's right now. June. <laughs> Ready? It's getting windy. We're on a tropical storm warning. Uh, first one of the season, early July. It's June. <laughs>